Alan Hewitt. Alan Hewitt, January 21, 1915, November 7, 1986, was an American film, television, and stage actor. His most prominent TV roles were Detective Brennan in My Favorite Martian and the District Attorney in How to Murder Your Wife. Early Years Born in New York City, Hewitt was educated there and entered Dartmouth College when he was 15, graduating in 1934. His acting debut was in a school production at age 10. Stage Page Hewitt first appeared on the New York stage in The Taming of the Shrew in 1935, starring Alfred Lunt and Lynn Fontaine. He later toured with them in that play. In 1936-37, he appeared again with Lunt and Fontaine in productions of Amphitryon 38 and The Seagull. His obituary in the New York Times noted that he scored his biggest successes on Broadway, in William Sarian's Love's Old Sweet Song and John Steinbeck's The Moon is Down. During World War Roman II, Hewitt served in the U.S. Army's Armed Forces Radio Service from 1943 minus 1946. Film, film. Among the movies Hewitt appeared in are A Private's Affair, That Touch of Mink, Days of Wine and Roses, Follow That Dream, How to Murder Your Wife, Television. Hewitt was an accomplished character actor who had a lengthy career, including parts in well known programs, including Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Maverick, 77 Sunset Strip, Dactari, Leave It to Beaver, The Donna Reed Show, Dr. Kildare, Lost in Space, Bewitched, I Dream of Jeannie, The Lucy Show, F Troop. He made four guest appearances on Perry Mason in three of which he portrayed the murderer. In 1961, he played Bruce Sheridan in The Case of the Wintry Wife and Dr. Marcus Tate in The Case of the Brazen Bequest, and in 1965, he played the role of Kurt Ordway in The Case of the Fatal Fetish. The only episode where he was not the murderer was 1959's The Case of the Golden Fraud. Actors' Equity Association Hewitt became a member of Actors' Equity Association, in 1934, gaining membership on its council in 1940. He served on the council until 1951, and was also on several committees during that span. An obituary noted, he helped to establish the employment survey for performers in the American theater, and frequently wrote letters and articles about actors' rights as professionals. Death Hewitt died of cancer on November 7, 1986, at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. He was survived by his mother, Hortons B. Baum Hewitt, 1892-1988 of Inglewood, N.J., and a brother, Robert W. Hewitt, 1919-2013 of Hillsdale, N.J. His father, William, predeceased him by about 40 years. Papers. Hewitt's papers were donated to Dartmouth College by his estate. The material housed at the Dartmouth College Library includes programs, scripts, clippings, sides, reviews, correspondence, playbills, photographs, and tapes. It occupies 22 boxes. Filmography.